Tua takes Bird. That's it. And they are up here in Las Vegas. Chris Bird's remarkable performance elevated him to number one contender status and a possible shot at the heavyweight championship. Also gearing up for a chance at the title in 2001 was two-time heavyweight champ Mike Tyson. Making his third European appearance in two years, Tyson met hometown hero Brian Nielsen in Copenhagen, Denmark. There's the bell. And Tyson goes right to work. Big right hand to the head by Tyson, followed up by a left uppercut. A quick combination of the head. And down goes Nielsen. Down for the second time in his career. I'm going to declare him the winner right now. All right, corner. Mike Tyson, you win. It's over. It's on. Tyson made sure that the upset bug that marked heavyweight boxing in 2001 did not sting him. With the exploits of Okendo and Bird and the dominance of Tyson, 2001 was quite a year for the heavyweights on Showtime. left hook and Earl Morton the referee not even waiting for the count Jeff Lacey with conviction Steve in 2001 one boxer fulfilled his quest to unify his division and become one of three current unified champions systematically and methodically this champion collected the other two titles in the 140 pound division in convincing fashion there is no doubt why he is the most exciting fighter of the year Kostya Zou's first target was Shambe Mitchell, a tough southpaw out of Washington, D.C., and the holder of the WBA title. This is an alley fight. Shambe Mitchell's in with one of the best fighters in his division. And Zou just doesn't let up. After seven rounds of action, Zou forced Mitchell to quit on the stool with an injured leg, capturing his second world title. A few months later, Zou faced rugged journeyman Akhtiar Kao. The fight proved tougher than expected. Pretty good left hook there, and followed by a right by Urkow. A lot of folks just thought that Zou would come in and tear this guy apart. I'll tell you right now, if he throws a combination against Zab Jude and poses, he's going to get hit with a right hook. Back comes Kostya Zou. He wobbles Urkow. Zou outpointed the awkward Urkow, winning a unanimous decision. This win set up a showdown with IBF champion Zab Judah. That's all he got when he fight me in November. It's going to be a short night, you know what I mean? Talk of the matchup between Sue and Judah had been on the lips of fight fans for quite some time, and the tension of the air fight night was palpable. In the first round, Judah relied on his speed and ferocity to rock Sue several times. Stealing Sue here. Sue holding on. Look at the head movement by Judah, and then he comes through with a combination to the head. And wailing away with a left hook, continues to hit. Kasha Zou cannot move straight back against Zab Judy. He's too quick. Zhu looks to be in trouble early against the speedy Judah. Zhu regrouped in the second round, slowing the pace and picking away at Judah. Nice right hand and left hook by Kasia Zhu, one of his better combinations. And a nice jab. This round was Kasia Zhu's clearly evening things up. Approaching the end of the round, Zhu surprised his young nemesis. And ending strong, down he goes. A right hand, he's in trouble. He's in real trouble. It's over. It's over. J.D. Zola. stops the fight in the second round, and it's Wood won right by Zhu. Unbelievable. Kostya Zhu, overall a 3-1 to one underdog, but able to uh, hold on to the belts. Undisputed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With one punch, Kostya Zhu defeated a previously undefeated champion, unified his division, and put a dramatic end to his quest. And for that, he earns the title of Most Exciting Fighter of the Year. Thank <laughs> you.